<laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I will be back. I missed him. Good luck to Calm. He's, he said to speak nice things. So just, no more Calm puns. He did say to brush those off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, that's me leaving. <laughs> hey, you uh, left a water bottle on the ground there. It's not yours? Oh, that's peculiar. I didn't know other people drank water. Uh, I'm stool hopping right now. Which sounds like the worst sport in the world. I'm also mic swapping. I'll just commentate with both mics. That'll be not weird. I wonder actually if I did this, how bad this would be. Okay. Oh man, you ruined my commentary strategy by coming in here. <laughs> That's okay. I just have to. I just have to uh, not do this now. Double microphone and single gameplay, you know? Alright. Oh, Alright, so. I don't know how often Comb has played against Kumatora. Also, I have not seen her, like, at many events, period. Like, I haven't seen either of these players at things. Good point. I was gonna say, because I was... I don't know, because I was absent for a while. I yeah. came back and just like, where is Silver? Yeah, Comb is, uh... Comb's been doing real well, or Comb's been in, like, New Hampshire, I think, or Maine. It's been, like, somewhere real far away. And, uh... I don't know what Kumatora has been doing. She's been showing up like kind of like on and off. Not every week, but most weeks. Being pretty consistent, getting pretty consistent results. Um, I don't know. I do you have any thoughts about this matchup? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. It's like it's such a weird matchup that like no one actually knows what's going on. Also, this thing is Combs got the green hair, but he's got he's playing yellow Rob. He's, he's basically a pineapple. <laughs> That's all. I <laughs> Very insightful. <laughs> um, yeah. So the main thing. Oh, that was actually would have been really sick. Tried to do a reverse fair edge cancel into a back air, but Ness is bad, so that didn't work. Like Ness is actually like starting to get really exploited because you can just SDI most of the things Ness does. Uh, yeah. Even up air strings. Like up air strings don't last nearly as long as people think they do. You can just hard SDI up and Ness can't reach high enough fast enough. So you just get out really fast. This is like some forbidden knowledge going on here right now. And then um, and then if you're just knowledgeable enough to just tech the the down air jab resets then that's like another thing that Ness, no, Ness mains normally get for free that they no longer would. So, um, but that doesn't really apply too much for Rob, considering he's really big. He's really thick, as the kids would say. Um, some might say that. Some, most, <laughs> most, most might say that. But he's definitely not thick. He's just big. Yeah, he's like largely skinny in a way. Yo, oh my god. Let's go. So they're 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 like doing the Star Wars thing where they battle with their minds. You know what I oh never mind. Of course. Okay, okay, no. <laughs> and it goes back to it goes back to a real match. Yeah, so see those down air down airs, they they don't actually net you anything. They net you a tech chase, which is like good, but it's not as good as uh if Comet oh. stayed down there for like a <laughs> second longer, he he was gonna he realized it too late and then tried to go in like when it was too late and died for it. Huh. 
Um, you can just eat the a bee and just nest dies. Good to know. Like if you eat the thunder, then yeah, yeah. And Comb realized it and then tried to fall down, but it was already too late by that. Point. Yeah, so that that up air string doesn't really last as long as people think it does. Um, Comb wasn't like hard SDIing up. You can SDI uh, with both sticks in this game actually, which is really nuts. So. Uh, the potential for getting out of combos is pretty nuts. I was gonna say, do you think Comb went here for projectiles, but at the same time... Comb went here uh, because Ness, Ness's mobility is, isn't is very good vertically if he doesn't have platforms. Okay. Meanwhile, Rob is very strong horizontally, and FD is very, like, Bear stage where he can kind of like throw out fares, like approaching like side B fares. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, but this is also is kind of backfiring because Kumatora is like a huge punish nerd. Like he will land. I thought you were gonna say something like horizontal enthusiast or something. Yeah, yeah horiz a horizontal enthusiast. I I admire parallel lines <laughs> that move horizontally know, only. Man. <laughs> you never know. You go to a museum of, of horizontal things that are horizontal. Probably exists. Not quite enough. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. He does not need to do that. <laughs> that just saved. Oh, that just okay. saved Kumatora. If Kumatora is here to death him, that's gonna be the funniest thing ever. Uh, oh my goodness, it might actually. It might actually. Uh, <laughs> he might come back. Oh man. Oh, this might be. Oh, this might be a comeback. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Up throw. Take the. Oh lord, <laughs> that was, why? Uh, why would that was you a little save, excessive. <laughs> why would you save your opponent <laughs> when you were like last stock on FD? If it was any other stage, I understand it because you can get out of Ness's combos on like Battlefield and stuff. But like FD is very streamlined. You're going to take a ton of damage no matter how good your DI is. Right. Um, huh. It's kind of nuts how, the, how big of a change it was between Game 1 and Game 2. It's, uh, Kumatora destroyed in game one. <laughs> and then uh, game two was a little a lot more in Combs' favor. Three, two, one, Comparatively. Right. Nice projectile usage. Nice grab. Uh not quite able to land anything off that fair, but no, that's a lot of percent. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's a stock. Yeah, it looks like there's just a punish discrepancy, like a huge one here between Comb and uh, Kumatora. Where like Comb will get a hit and it'll kind of lead to something, but he'll just barely miss like an edge guard or something. And then uh, Kumatora will start to land these things. So, Kumatora is sawing more things than that, in other words. Yeah, pretty much. Lots of uh, metal, metal sawing. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, this looks, looks, looks rough. Rock recovery is also pretty exploitable. It's only three boosts. You only get three boosts per at a time. Nice up smash, but this will have to be a force stop come back. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't know is possible in this matchup. You have to make so many you have to make a lot of trades to beat Ness with Rob. Rob's a very good character at trading. But yeah, I don't think he can trade anymore. He's at 84%. Like back air will prob like down air back air will probably kill. Yeah, he could have died right there. Back here will definitely rock kill now. Uh, <laughs> he fired off the laser like too too soon, but that's fine. 
Uh, no, that's fine, that's fine. You can rinse repeat with Rob. It's really nice that you can just keep... Oh, oh no. Okay. He's loose. Yeah, he needs he... to relax. He's gotta just play very methodically. Oof. You gotta take it step by step, one at a time. Right. Offers generally the same things that FD did, except it's like better for Rob. Like one of the main things that Ness struggles with on this map specifically is getting to the top platform is a nightmare. Oh yeah. But Rob can just do it in one up B. He can just use up B and get there like instantaneously. Oh, he... Ness crouches under. That's something you don't really see very often. That's a more of a, that's a PM matchup thing. Is that, uh. I didn't know that, uh, Ness. Oh, that was sick. He held his double jump there, which is very smart. Nice. Nice. Alright, so that was a good conversion. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh, this is looking slammed. very yeah, that's very Oof. Oh, Tony does not look happy at all. Yeah. This is a nice set of damage. You don't have to whenever someone's going on a on a platform, you don't really have to attack them. You can just kinda wait and their shield will slowly deteriorate. And they have to do something. And then the second they do something, you can punish them for it, because they're above you. And I think uh, Comb could definitely use... A lot of people can use that, honestly. There are a lot of creative ways you can approach someone shielding on a platform. You don't always have to just up air their feet. No. Oh. <laughs> the top extended... Does high like uppy hitbox? That's kind of and then made nest made, made Rob get hit by it. Yeah, and it looks like now Carmax kind of camping a bit. Uh, yep, nice. Oh, up air was a little greedy. You can get a little bit more off of up air than you can off of forward air with Rob, but it's a little bit more startup. Oh, yeah, whenever you're near uh, Ness, you don't want to spot dodge. You want to just hold shield because none of her shield pressure is real. None of uh, none of Ness's shield pressure is real. Yep, that will do it. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, no, that's really disappointing to see. He's gonna have to win neutral again, just to take the stock. And if he takes this game, he's only barely in the set. Alright, that was good there. And he didn't take too much damage, so he can still crash cancel things. Uh, Playing a little too safe. He's taking chip damage, but he's not, like, trading. Where Rob wants. Fun fact about Ness versus Rob, or like Ness versus most characters, is that Ness can back air you at zero, and then you can just CC grab him. Like you can, you can just crouch cancel Ness's back air at zero, and that's like his strongest move that he can do. Like besides down air, of course. But yeah, and that's a three-one. Yep. That was a quick. 31.